In today's video, we're going to be making a 1950s style police strobe light. Stay tuned. Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be making a second version of my previous video that I made around a year ago on making a strobe light script inside of Roblox Studio. This is going to be another tutorial on how to make a strobe light script. Rather, instead of being a modern police light, it will be a spinning police light like you see in classic 1950s movies. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into this. So, I'm going to try to keep this as simple as possible, seeing as a lot of people are trying to be new game developers. If you find this at all hard to follow along with, the model will be in the description, so you can take it for free. The first thing that we're going to need to do is do what everyone else does when they start Roblox Studio. Put in a brand new block, and size it down about one stud by one stud. This is of course interchangeable to any other model that you might have, which you might want to use for the actual siren. The block will just do for me today. Here's what we have to do. Go to the Model tab, come over to the Effects button and click it. Come down and click Spotlight. It should automatically insert a spotlight into your workspace. Simply come to the Explorer tab, click the spotlight, and drag it into your part. In question, the part is whatever model you have. In the Spotlight, open the Properties tab. All of these settings look pretty good, but you might want to change them. Instead of the color being white, of course, we're going to change it to red. Now, we're going to change the rain range to be 24, and the brightness up to 2. This, of course, can change if you would like it to. For increased visibility of the light, I will be making it nighttime. As you can see, the light is very visible now, although I am using the future lighting system in Roblox. If you would like to change the way that the light is shown, come over to the lighting tab, in Properties, change it from Future to Shadow Map, or likewise, change it from Shadow Map to Future. The difference is, Future will look more realistic, while Shadow Map will look less realistic. Although, Shadow Map is possibly less laggy and easier to manage. If you'd like to change the property to the free model, please do so. Come back to the Spotlight, click it, and let's add a few things. Shadows are important. The angle 180 is the widest angle, however, something more like 110 will do for our strobe lights. Now, as you can see, the light is only visible on one side. In order to change this, we have to go to Spotlight. We will press Ctrl D, or if you're on a Mac, press Command D, and duplicate it. Now, click under the new one, come to Properties, and instead of it being front, click Back. Now we have lights shining on both sides. Now. What we want to do is insert a script, delete the print world, and follow along. If you don't want to follow along, you can find the script within the free model, or you can find it in the description. We want to create a while true do loop. It will automatically create an end. So we want to go ahead and define the parent. We can do this by defining first the parent and then saying that the parent is equal to this. Then we want to write C frame dot write from Euler angles XYZ. Make sure it's XYZ. And then we want to write 0.2 then comma zero comma zero. The zero point two here is important as it will define the speed at which our lights turn. Then we want to write C frame dot new zero comma zero comma zero. And then so the while true loop doesn't lag the game, we want to write wait zero point zero zero one. Once you finish writing the script, we have a few things that we need to change with the part. First of all, the part has to be anchored. If you want to attach this to a car, you're going to have to weld it to the car. Now, we also want to come over here to Part, and we want to deselect in the Properties tab, Can Collide. Now, if we click Run, or Play, you'll see it do this. It is now turning. If this ha problem happens for you, simply turn it along the Z axis, or the blue circle. Now, if we run it, it'll spin normally. Of 
course, most police lights do not have only red, so we're going to add a blue one as well. You can do this by simply Control D, duplicating, or Command D if you're on Mac, and spinning it 90 degrees. Now it is as simple as this. Go to the spotlights within this one, and change the color to a blue color. Now if we click run, it'll run just fine. Of course, the configuration of this is very, very interchangeable. You can change the width of the lights, the brightness, and whatnot. That is up to you. You'll be able to find the script and the free model in the description, so please do go ahead and get them. If you liked the video, please subscribe and like. It will be much appreciated. And make sure to join my Discord, as I will be posting updates on the game which I am making. Thank you.